Hi, um, yeah, it's been a minute since I've uploaded on YouTube, I'm sorry, but, um, I'm back, um, so, um, yeah, meh, um, there's so much to update guys on with dating and graduating school and what's happening next, what's gonna be after school, so, um, you guys do hear about that in this video, and, um, yeah, um, Hey, <laughs> um, I'm excited to be back. Um, I feel like I always do these I'm back videos and then I'll disappear for like months again and then I'll come back with I'm back and then yeah, that's gonna stop. I promise that's gonna stop. I'm literally back. Um, I do want to start vlogging more. I feel like I don't ever do that anymore. I want to vlog. Um, <sighs> but yeah, um, I am back and I love you guys and um, yeah, my hair is shorter. I think my hair was, yeah, my hair was longer last time, but, um, I am back, um, let me know what, like, what type of videos you guys would like to see, and, um, yeah, if you guys, I did my everyday makeup look, I've been seeing a lot of people doing this on their, cha on their channel lately, so, if you guys want a, if you guys want to see, continue watching, and, um, yeah, I love you guys, and let's get started. Okay, so... Before I get started, I just want to show you guys what um, primer I like to use. <clears throat> this is the e.l.f. primer. This is the matte putty primer. And I have the other one too, but I, I have the other one. I have the poreless putty primer. And I like it, but I like the matte better. Even though I have, my skin is a little bit on the drier side. I don't know why. I just like more mattes on my skin. But you would think I like to do it considering the fact that my skin is kind of dry. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys. I feel like everybody's been doing these type of videos lately, so I really wanted to show you guys. And also, just like a little life update. I'm back. Um, like I said in the intro, if I, I don't know if I said it in the intro or not, but I might forget. But I graduated school. I graduated cosmetology school. I graduated last Saturday and I was supposed to, I was actually supposed to come back to YouTube Monday, but I started feeling sick, hence my voice. I started feeling sick and yeah, thank God it wasn't COVID though. I thought it was because I started out with, a, it started out with a sore throat and then the sore throat was like lasted for a few days and then after the sore a couple days after the sore throat I started getting my nose started running and then I started coughing and I was like oh crap this better not be COVID especially the week after I didn't graduate cosmetology school especially since I've been at school all week and I guess and I haven't gotten sick I haven't gotten COVID or anything the first full week I get sick, but I did take a test and it wasn't COVID. It came back negative, but <coughs> so yeah, so I do have like a basic cold, but I'm finally getting rid of it. I'm literally like at the tail end of it, but I was really sick. I was like, but I haven't, so my body was like not used to it because I haven't gotten sick in a couple years. Thank God. Like I haven't, thankfully, like I've never caught in COVID or anything, which is crazy. I never got sick for two years and then after then I go to school nervous thinking oh like well I'm gonna be working with full people like uh, da, 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 thinking I'm gonna get sick have not gotten caught have not gotten sick all year and um yeah I get sick out of the blue but thankfully it was it's not COVID and thankfully it was just a minor little cold but it was annoying because I was really ready to come back to school. I mean, come back to YouTube and do all of this. And uh, yeah, but I'm officially back now. But um, yeah, so for foundation, I really like the, I, you guys, I love Fenty. Um, hopefully like, like soon, like I'll, I really do want to explore like more foundations and other foundations and stuff. I do hear like good stuff about other foundations, but Fenty is my girl, like my holy grail. Like I love Rihanna. 
I will forever and always. <coughs> I will forever and always love Fenty. But <clears throat> other than that, I graduated school. Um, I will include um, a video here. But yeah, it was just like a little clap out. My instructor announced me and it was just really, really cool to grad, like just to like all of us, most, like just graduating. It was just really cool that I finished and I did it because I remember, I remember like during it and I know so many people go through this and, but I really wanted to quit. Like I wanted to literally like at the beginning i really wanted to quit like i was really i had a day set and everything i was ready to tell my instructors like listen i'm done i don't want to be here anymore but i'm really proud of myself for going through it and graduating and finishing even though i had the most annoying clients even though i had annoying clients there were people that were just really annoying and if you guys want to hear like client stories like i would love to do those or i'll do them on my tiktok let me know and my tiktok is jayla marche by the way i'm jayla marche on literally everything i'm jayla marche on tiktok instagram twitter even though i don't really use twitter i use instagram and tiktok and obviously i'm, yeah, I'm gonna be starting on youtube again but um yeah so um graduated what's next after graduating i really want to focus on my creating content on creating content for you guys but while doing that i really want to get a part-time job at sephora <clears throat> while doing while doing content and stuff like that just to you know have something else to do like you know but um i'm excited i really do want to like go apply to sephora like i feel like there's always so much more makeup to learn and to do like so I'm really excited to do that and obviously do my modeling and Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that I'm really excited so yeah so with doing, doing part-time I really want to well with my with scheduling YouTube I really want to try to do two times a week I'm not going to force myself but Obviously, I want to do YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that more, so I'm obviously going to do it. But yeah, yeah I graduated. Um, applying to, I'm um, graduated. Going to continue doing social media and also apply for Alta. Um, I did apply. I did um apply to take my sign up to take my state board um i'll take you guys on that ride i really i'm really kind of sad because i wish i would have taken taking you guys on the ride for school and i didn't and i've kind of that's kind of one thing i do regret i wish i would have documented documented me being in school and learning stuff and stuff like that but i didn't and that's okay but i will say cosmetology school has taught me a lot beauty school has taught me a lot about everything just about like hair obviously about hair and just honestly in general so if you guys want i'll do a video on like what cosmetology school taught me or what i at least learned got from it and um i'll be happy to tell you guys it's just ah uh, yeah 
And also, guys, I'm so excited. I got my I got my nails back. Like, oh my god. Like having a year of just having no nails is just has just been really, really rough on a girl. Really, really rough. But I don't know. Like I don't know. Like I really love getting having my nails done. I don't know if like if, like I really just love. I don't know, I feel like whenever I have on a cute outfit and my makeup and my hair is done and my nails aren't done, I don't feel fully complete unless I have my nails and hair done. But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing my foundation and then I'll come back when I'm doing everything else. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium medium tan sand oh my god and what i like to do i'm just gonna go right here and I like I have a little like unibrow and you really need to get my eyebrows done but I haven't been able to this week so I'm gonna go next week because <clears throat> I was sick this week I couldn't I didn't feel really comfortable going anywhere even though I didn't have COVID I didn't really want to be somewhere hacking out my lungs and people looking at me like I'm crazy so I didn't go anywhere So, but yeah. But yeah. Um, let's see. Graduation. Um, I would say dating. Um, I was talking to someone. And I genuinely, honestly fell for him. And, um... I got ghosted. I got ghosted. Not sure what happened. Not sure why. But I got ghosted. And that's, this is the thing. Why do men feel the need to ghost someone? Like, I don't like ghost women. I know sometimes us females do it too. But it's like... Why waste our time like I don't like we've been we were we like we started talking in December and things were going good things were going amazing um I met like I like things were going good he met my mom he met my sister like things were going really really good like we were calling each other babe and all of that and it's like we, I mean, I don't know. He, we didn't do anything. Like, we didn't do anything. But I did go back to Fayville with him. And I don't know. It's nothing. And it's like my phone isn't even blocked. It's just, like, completely ghosted. Like, I've texted him. I've called him. I FaceTimed. I've did everything I've snapchatted and I'm not blocked he's literally just like ignoring me and honestly it really hurt like I'm still kind of going through it I've I had like a breakdown this morning about it but it's like and my whole thing is just like don't if you no, if you're gonna if you're gonna talk to someone and your intention isn't to talk to them that long just leave them alone like, leave them alone, because that causes, because you don't know, especially if you tell that person everything, like, you tell that person, like, what you've done, like, I don't know, like, what you've been through, telling that person, like, all the heartbreaks, the pain that you went through, and they go turn around and do the same thing to you, that's, what really hurts, and he's honestly a guy that, he was honestly the first guy that I really felt like wow like he was amazing like 
it was like when we first started talking there was no red flags like he was he had his own business he was doing good for himself he had a daughter who was beautiful and honestly i met her once and, and i met her like and talking to her on facetime and i honestly fell like in love and i was just and you just don't do that like you just don't do that and it's like i don't even and it's like i can't give myself to bash him or talk bad about him because i don't feel like he's i don't think he's a terrible person still to this day i mean it hurts it's been what a month now almost a month but it's just like i don't know i kind of like still going through it like i think you could tell like in my like you could kind of tell like uh it still hurts like obviously ghosting hurts and but it's like nothing happened i don't know i didn't do anything and obviously i know i didn't do anything but it's just like i would like to know what happened like if he did reach out reach back out it's like what happened like why did you go ghost i don't know it's like does something happen it's like i'm it's like I want to say he something happened and he just did, doesn't know how to react to it and he's just going through it right now. I mean, if he is, then I wish him nothing but the best and I hope he's okay. But it's just like at the same time, it's like, yo, like you were supposed to be at my graduation. What happened? Like, what is going on? <sighs> but you know what? I don't really know. Like. I can't really sit here and, you know, keep crying my eyes, like, keep crying and keep talking about and keep, like, wondering, oh, what happened, what happened, and I don't know. I'm, I just graduated college, I just graduated school, I'm about to, um, get back into my, I'm, like, about to get back into my career, like, with, I really want to get back into YouTube and social medias and stuff like that. But I, obviously I know that, but I just can't help but worry, like, is he okay? I don't know. I don't know. Go, dating? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I've touched on it on my, on my channel, but dating is so annoying. I mean, it's like, it's, dating, I, I don't know. Like, dating in your 20s, I don't want to say, like, just dating in your 20s, da, 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 but it's just like, I'm not the really type of person who's involved with hookup culture. I don't really care about sleeping around with other men and other people. And like, I just don't care about that. And genuinely, it sucks because it's like, I want a genuine relationship. I want a relationship. And like, I'm not saying, I'm not sitting here. Oh, I'm not sitting here. Oh, let's date and get married a whole year later. Yeah, obviously, I do eventually want to get married in, in the future, but I'm not sitting here. But I'm also like, I want to date for a reason. I don't want to date. I don't want to casually date. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, dating, da, 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 da. I'm not really like that. I don't know. I don't really, I did meet him on a dating app and he was actually the first guy I like really, really liked talking to on a, I enjoy talking to him on a dating app. I genuinely don't really care for dating apps, but I feel like well, now, I mean, like, I don't want to say, well, I was going to say now with COVID, but now with the mask is lifted and everything, everybody, life is going to somewhat of a normal, but it's like, I don't know, dating is, oh, I didn't even say, I'm going in with my Morphe contour kit, but, but I don't know, like, I don't know, I kind of, like, don't really, I don't want to dwell too much on it because I feel like I've kind of already have. I've talked to so many people about it and it's like everybody's kind of like talking crap about him and it's like I can't get myself to do that because I still care about him and I don't know why but it sucks. It does suck because... I think what sucks is because I bragged about him to everybody. I bragged to him. I don't really brag about guys much. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not really impressed. And I'm not really impressed when it comes to men as much. And the fact that he impressed me, it was like everything about him was like, whoa. Like, like I'm saying, there was no red flags at all about him. We were kind of, we were literally alike. We were both introverted. We were both. 
we both like going out, but we don't like, <laughs> we both like staying in. We didn't, we never like butt heads about anything. We never had an argument. Nothing went wrong. Like nothing was bad. Like that's why I'm like kind of confused now because I'm just like, what happened? Like where did things go wrong? But at the same time, I can't cry myself to sleep anymore. Like I'm kind of like tired. At this point, like, I'm just kind of, like, sitting here at this point. Like, I'm just, like, I don't know. But, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, I'm the type of person, like, I don't really want to casual. I don't, I'm the type of person that, I don't really know. Like, I just want to, like, I'm not into, like I said, I'm not into that hookup culture situation i'm not really into that i'm not gonna do too much setting powder because i'm not really going anywhere i'm just doing my makeup because uh, i'm bored and i want to i just want to do this because i'm not gonna put too much powder and last time and i feel like putting too much powder i feel like i look too cakey and like light up here sometimes and that's not cute on me but yeah, no, like, I'm just like, I don't want to say I'm done, but it's like I'm kind of going through a healing process right now. It's kind of like day two for me. Like, there was a, like, it's just, I'm just gonna enjoy life. Like, I can't, like I said, I can't sit here and dwell and be sad anymore. But dating sucks. <laughs> dating, not fully, but it just sucks when you're. I think it just really sucks when you have so much face in a person. Like, I have so much face. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I like to um, go just in my, just to like, in my crease. And just put, like, put it there. Especially if I'm not going to do, like, any crazy color eyeshadow. I'm just going to do it there. But, um, yeah, besides the dating situation, um, I do want to upload on here more i feel like i say that all the time i don't and i'm really am going to i do have a haul coming out really soon i ordered a bunch of um i have a bunch of summer clothes coming in and some of them already came in i just have to wait on the rest of them and i'm really excited because so a lot so look out for a lot of fashion content coming out in a in the next couple of weeks the next week or so because I am very, very excited. I love fashion so very much. I feel like fashion and makeup is like my real, my real passion. Besides now, now like with doing like makeup and fashion, hair has really become a really important part of it now. I guess like considered, wow, considered beauty school, cosmetics, cosmetology school has really taught me how to like just take care of my hair better i definitely think i used to like i would never put anything in my hair before putting like i would never put any type of heat in my hair i would never do anything and i put heat in my hair but school has definitely taught me to put product in your hair i never would do that i would never put any type of i literally and I'm so kind of like embarrassed to say it now, but I guess not. I learned, but I literally used to put nothing in my hair. I would just shampoo my hair, blow dry it, and just flat iron it. No product, no heat protectant, no nothing in my hair. And I guess you could say that's pretty much what fried my hair. Like that's literally what messed up my hair. And yeah, I feel. And then I used to put my, I used to put my flat iron up so high to the point where it would it would literally i would be choking on fumes and that's not good that is not okay to be no like you're not supposed to do that i would choke on fumes i would literally be doing nothing to my hair like what that's really sad but um you know we live and we learn we make our own mistakes it's okay 
I now, I do, I now do put, you know, the heat isn't as high as it, as it used to be. It's not anymore. She doesn't put the heat at 410. It's like 375 now. And then also, um, I do put like the silk, the she, the chai, she, tea, silk, um, infused in my hair. And I love that stuff so much. Um, so yeah, I definitely do do that now. Okay, one thing about this mascara, this is the Benefit Cosmetic Bad Girl Bang Mascara. When I tell you this is my favorite, favorite mascara, I love it. I love this stuff so much just because I feel like I talk about it all the time, but I do. Like, Benefit Cosmetic, they knew what they were doing when they made this. Like, this is the best thing in the world. I don't know what else to say about it. I really love this foundation. I love this kind of wow, almost for my eye. I feel like everybody's doing these like every my everyday makeup routine videos now again. And I really wanted to get back on the train before I really want to get on the train before um they don't love they don't nobody gives a shit anymore. Yeah. I don't like to, yeah, I'm not going to put on, yeah, I don't like to put on too much powder because I always do it, but I today I decided not to because I'm not going anywhere. And number one, stop doing it. Like, I got my hair cut. Well, pretty much trim. I think the last time you guys saw me, like, this was, like, really, really long. And this was, like, short. And it was, like, an H symmetrical body. Like, it was just not cute anymore. So, I actually got it cut. I actually got it like cut and lined like more evened out around Christmas break. Actually, the day before Christmas break, I got it done at school. And um, I loved it ever since. And then it grew out to like here. And then I got it cut. I got it trimmed again for I got it cut again for summer. So that's the way my curls can be luscious. But um. Yeah, so that's my mascara for blush. I like to use the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh my God, I can't talk. The Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me blush. I love this stuff so much. But um, I, it's like a dupe for the NARS blush. And I don't currently have NARS at the moment, but I will get there. I think that's like the one thing I can't say I'm going to miss about school is, or another thing I'm going to miss about school is getting your hair done for free. <laughs> like, I'm really going to miss that. Like, I really am going to miss, like, just being able to go up to one of my friends and be like, hey, you want to do my hair? Like, I'm, I'm going to definitely miss that. But one of my friends from school lives... I graduated with her. Well, she graduated a week before I did. She literally lives like nine minutes away from me now. So. I know I'm getting my hair done by now. But, um. And obviously I can get my hair done by my best friend too. So. We're all in this together. And I guess I could talk. And, um. I would do a. Like experience in cosmetology school but i actually have a video where there's well not i but there's going to be a video coming out with my classmates or my friends about how we feel about schools the school so be on the lookout for that soon so um since i didn't really do a lot i don't really i'm not gonna do bronzer or anything um, I'm really confused on what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetic Highlighter. It's crazy how this is, I think this is my, no, it's not my first product from Kylie Cosmetic, but I don't have any of her eyeshadow palettes, which is crazy to me. And it's like, I want to buy it, but then it's like, do I need more makeup right now? 
But I don't have any Kylie Cosmetics stuff. Like, that is crazy. But I don't really have a... I do have a lot of makeup. But I don't have a lot of brands, which is weird. I don't know. I'm going to dab this. Like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot because I'm not going anywhere. But, oh my god, my makeup looks really good. I know, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. Other than, other than that, not much has been, I mean, I guess you could say a lot has been, like, graduating, graduating, dating, all that. But, um... Yeah, so for lips, I am going to go in with, this is the Dose of Colors lipstick, or lip gloss, I should say. And I'm going to go in with this. And this is how the makeup turned out. I really like it. Um, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I'm excited to be back. Um, I'm excited that I've graduated school and I'm out. Um, I really miss my classmates. I really miss my friends from school. That's one thing I, I think that's, even though I'm happy that I'm graduated, I do miss my friends. Like, I really do miss seeing them every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like, and then, like, just, like, Little stuff. If you guys want to hear, like, little stuff that we did, just let me know. I'll do, like, story times on what we did and I'll, I'll, I'll everything. But, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I will be back. I promise. I promise I will be back. I really do want to upload consistently. Um, let me know what you guys like more. Do you guys like weekend videos? Do you like guys weekly video weekly videos? Or do you guys like, like, and then how many do you guys want? Like, one video, two videos a week, three videos? Let me know. And, um, I will gladly do that. And, um, let me know what other type of videos you guys would like to see from me. You guys definitely will be getting fashion videos. I promise those fashion videos are coming. And, um, yeah, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.